Hey, chickies. Here at Oh My Gosh Polish, mistakes will be made. As per usual, it'll be loads of fun, so subscribe now. <laughs> now let's get into today's nail art. It's a cat. It's really quite simple. It's just a cat. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. The polish today is from Deco Miami. It is the most delicious, creamy, gorgeous, minty polish. It's called Petite Palm. Uh, kind of probably should have done a palm tree. Maybe I will later on with this one. Who knows? Anyway, it is really, really lovely, opaque in two thin coats. Just beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. And yes, I'm going to give you a nail cleanup pawn. For those of you who do enjoy it, enjoy. And those of you who don't enjoy it, skip ahead. <laughs> Now for the cat, I'm using this new acrylic paint that uh, Jane Davenport sent to me for um, a play. It is lovely. It's a very dark, dark blue, almost a black, but not quite. It's definitely blue. Uh, it is a matte acrylic craft paint, non-toxic, obviously, just like all acrylic craft paints, which is always good. I don't want to use anything toxic on my nails. And it is highly pigmented, which um, is obviously a very good thing. Now, I'm doing this directly over the polish. I didn't put a top coat over the top. I certainly didn't use a matte top coat. With thicker acrylic craft paints, you don't really need to use a matte top coat. If I was using watercolour, then I would definitely recommend using a matte top coat. But for this type of uh, acrylic craft paint, you really don't need it. Uh, now, I'm just doing like a little cat on the tip of my nail. That's basically it. It's quite simple, although because of the angle that I paint from, uh, I always think when I'm painting that it is completely straight and everything is exactly the way it should be. And then, and this happens every time, so I don't know why I don't learn, but it, uh, I pick up my, my hand and look at it from a different perspective and I always see that it's completely skew if. Now, for this particular one, um, I wasn't that concerned. I mean, in the past, I've like taken it off and restarted it like a bunch of times because I just can't get it straight. Uh, and it's purely because of the way or the, the angle that I film on. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't really that big of a deal. And I actually thought in the end, as I um, do quite often, uh, that it, it really actually made it better because it was kind of a little, you know, skew if and not that big of a deal anyway so whatever uh, and uh, I kind of um, stuffed up the whiskers you'll see that especially the first ones I don't know why I do this all the time but it's not a big deal. like nothing's a big deal 
it's nail art. It really, you know, I'm not, you know, it's not really that big of a deal. <laughs> now on my pinky, I did one single solitary paw print and because it's a cat, I always like to put little uh, claws on it. Uh, and especially considering uh, I was thinking of my cat when I was doing it and he has very long claws. I don't cut them because I want him to be able to defend himself from the neighborhood cats because he has in the past gotten into quite a few fights because he's got a bit of an attitude. Uh, so I always put little claws on them for the cats. For the dog paws, I don't tend to, but for the cats, I most definitely do. And I just wanted to say, um, on the subject of Buddy, my cat, uh, the, one of the main reasons why I did this particular nail art at this particular time was the other night for like, I think it's like only the second time since he's been with us for like three years, he came and sat on my knee without me picking him up and making him. Like he did it because he wanted to. And I thought, you know, well, okay, so after three years, it looks like we're getting somewhere. Because <laughs> normally he hates me unless I'm feeding him. Oh, well. Now, I did mention earlier that I think maybe that I stuffed up the whiskers on the, the first side, on the, on, yeah, the first set of whiskers that I did. Uh, and, well, you know, I did, kind of, because I made them a little bit too thick. And that was wrong. Because the second lot of whiskers I did... On the other side we're much better and yeah oh well it doesn't matter and I really didn't want to start it again so I decided not to bother <laughs> and in the end it didn't work out too badly so not a big deal again not a big deal maybe I should put that on a t-shirt <laughs> And once your design is completely dry, of course, you want to go ahead and seal it all in with your favourite top coat. Of course, I am using Seshvit as per usual. And yes, no smudging, which is very good. I've never used this acrylic craft paint before, so I wasn't 100% sure it wasn't going to smudge. And it didn't, so it's working really beautifully. And that's it for this one. I really hope you liked it. It was a very quick and easy one to do. In case you want to know where I got my ring from, I will let, put a link down below. It's from a shop called Alamanada. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, uh, I've got a couple of them. I really love these little kitty cat rings. I always wear them when I do a uh, mani that has a cat on it. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Oh, and don't forget to go and watch my previous video. And please, don't forget to subscribe. It's free. <laughs> I'm going now. Bye. Meow.